Hi, it's Chris. This is Ryobi's new USB lithium battery. It's a four volt battery and it can be a USB-C charged. That's great since you can then charge it with solar. They have three tools out so far, a power cutter, power carver, and a rotary tool and they're coming out with a screwdriver. There's a cap that opens on the back of the tool and then it, it just slides in. You push it in and then the cap locks on. Because there's not a lot of tools out yet, I thought I'd design a little adapter here so you could plug your battery in and then put it in other applications. So I have it hooked up to the voltmeter and you can see right now it's 4.13 volts. I put access to the USB type C charging port so you can be using the power at the same time you're solar charging it. So as an example of a conversion, I'm going to take this Harbor Freight uh, little LED flashlight and I'm going to convert it to run instead of on three AA batteries, I'm going to convert it to run on the Ryobi USB lithium battery. It's 250 lumen pop-up lanterns available at Harbor Freight for five and a half dollars. Now let's look at how to put this together. The Revopoint POP2 3D scanner that I supported on Kickstarter just arrived. So I'm going to use that to scan the battery. I'm also going to use it to scan the Harbor Freight LED light that I'm going to integrate the Ryobi battery into. I'm going to do a new scan, high accuracy feature based. I loaded the two scans, the side view and the up-down view, into the new Revo Studio, and then I did an alignment. I picked three points in common in the two models, and I'm going to apply it. And we have our combined model. I loaded in the uh, scan of the cell. And then I modeled all the features until I got the model that I liked. So after I modeled the battery, I 3D printed it. That way I could test fit it in the tool to make sure that it fit correctly. I used a 3D model of the battery to build the mount. So it's able to subtract the battery from the block. So there's four mounting holes. There's the place where the type C charger goes in. There's places to put connectors, terminals in here and on this side over here. And they come out on the other side here and here. And there's holes to bolt them down with terminals. So I've put in the Prusa slicer. I'm printing in Petchy and with support everywhere, it's 20% infill. And it should take about an hour to print. I've got to remove the support. There are very tiny slits at the bottom here that the spring clips will slide into. The USB lithium battery has four contacts, but the two outside ones are the plus and minus, and they're only about four millimeters wide here. I found a bunch of AAA battery spring clips on Amazon, 
unfortunately they're five a little over five and a half almost five and a half millimeters wide so I'm gonna have to use my probably rotary tool to shave them down a bit Once you have the two clips installed, then you can put uh, bolts through the holes so that you can put the terminals on. I used some M28 millimeter screws to go in to act as terminals. I'm using some 14 gauge silicon wire and I'm gonna put some little terminators on here. Got my crimper. Put those on. I put washers and the nuts on and now I have to design a replacement cap that will hold the Ryobi USB battery. I bought two of these Harbor Freight lanterns at a different time and they're all the same except that the thread on the bottom is different. On this one it's 2.5 millimeter and on this one it's 2 millimeter. So I kind of split the difference so the base should go on to either one. I used the Revel Point Pop 2 to scan the thread on the flashlight. I used the scan of the thread to create a uh, helix. And then I used that to cut out the solid model. I made a plate with holes in it that will take the uh, adapter that I designed. And then I cut a hole here so that the battery will fit through and into the adapter. Well, I printed the bottom of the Harbor Freight light in black so I can interface my Ryobi USB battery. I've used some small 632nd nylon nuts and bolts to attach the battery adapter to the bottom uh, lantern base. Now I just need to solder the wires onto the contacts in the old battery case. The base just screws onto the bottom of the lantern. I'll put the 3D print files up on Prusa and Thingiverse. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe. And have a great day.